Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. Okay, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Taurus. So if your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node is in Taurus, this message should resonate, okay? So please feel free to place yourself where you see fit Taurus, okay? I could be saying he, and it could be a she, I could say she, and it could be a he. It's really going to be up to you to use your discernment and your intuition to place yourself where you see best. Alright, so let's go ahead and dive into your energy read. Now, this is going to be a general energy read. I'm just going to pull on your energy or the person in your energy or the person on your mind, Taurus, and provide you with a message, okay? So, let's see. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. Okay, I've already prayed over these cards, but I'm going to go ahead and say another little prayer. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, all divine beings of the spirit realm, all gods and goddesses of the highest forms of the highest of light of healing, Please tap into Taurus Collective and their spirit guides of the highest of light as well as their ancestors of the highest of light. Um, all the divine beings that assist with ascension as well as healing. So please tap into Taurus energy and provide clear intuitive messages. Okay, please provide the truth for Taurus and allow the truth to be known. Please protect myself as I channel as well as Taurus energy. Protect my loved ones as well as my family. Protect um, Taurus's loved ones as well as their family and return any black magic back to sender, okay, or any evil eye back to sender spirit. So, so far, Taurus, what's coming up is somebody could be in a karmic relationship, okay, whether this could be you in a karmic relationship at this time or, again, this could be past, present, or future energy. So, you're going to have to just place yourself where you see fit, um, but... If this is not you in a karmic relationship, somebody in your energy is in a karmic relationship and this person is growing resentment. This person is growing resentment, okay? Somebody is definitely changing their perception about something and somebody's ready to let go. Somebody's ready to let go of an intense karmic connection. Yeah, this could be somebody that Played as an enemy in your life, okay? It says watch your back. This is somebody that you couldn't trust. Somebody that you didn't feel safe with. Maybe you did feel safe with this person at one point, like, but then you stopped feeling safe with this person. Yeah, somebody feels like they have a lot of regrets about the mistakes they've made with you, okay? This is somebody that didn't want to learn from their lessons in the past or grow. Somebody was stuck and they didn't want to change, okay? This person didn't want to make any changes. They thought it was too sudden to change and they didn't want to change. This is somebody that could have been in clown energy. Somebody that was laughing at you or seeking revenge or plotting something. Yeah, you may have had clarity and truth about a situation. Yeah, Spirit is saying that you are high honor, Taurus. And you are protected, highly protected from someone. Okay, you could be getting truth about this enemy or this person that was an enemy to you in the past or in the present. It came out again, yeah. Like I said, this person performed. They were they performed some clownish, like some clown like things, okay? Somebody was in clown energy. I'm also hearing this person could have hurt you in the past and they didn't even bother to apologize. Yeah, but I'm saying that you passed some sort of test, okay? This was a key person that you were supposed to come in contact. Like this person was key to um, something inside of you that needed to be healed or worked through. But this person in your energy, okay, this person could feel like you two have unfinished business stars. They feel like it's not over. Somebody could go back and forth about coming back around to you or why something happened between you two. But this is somebody who had a lot of baggage in their life. Somebody had a lot of baggage. Okay. Let's see what else for Tara Spirit. Yeah, you may have shared like an extreme like spark with somebody or attraction. Ooh, all the cards just fell out. 
somebody was very attracted to you. But this person was very hot and cold and very, uh, you know, indecisive. Somebody, like, had a lot of conflict. Somebody could have liked to drink a lot. Yeah, this person could have treated you like a choice. So they could have had, like, multiple choices. Somebody stayed conflicted, okay? But whoever this person is, Taurus, I'm saying somebody's ready to release their pride and ego. Okay, but this is somebody that didn't do the healing work because they are very shallow. Whoever this person is, they could be afraid. They could be afraid, afraid to get hurt. So instead what they do is withdraw. I'm hearing somebody's really lonely inside, okay? Yeah, this person is letting go of some sort of pride that they may have had, okay? Somebody had a lot of pride. And look, it came out in my other deck too, okay? Somebody had a lot of pride. They were very arrogant. And this person is starting to think about like what they've done and how they treated you. And somebody is changing their perspective, okay? This is somebody also that doesn't know which direction to go into. Somebody could be bisexual. This person is waiting, okay? They're waiting. They wanted to wait to do their healing because they were insecure. Yeah, somebody was scared to change, okay? This person was very indecisive. Aries energy, Leo energy or Virgo energy out here. But I'm seeing somebody's now recognizing you. This person is recognizing you for who you truly were to them, okay? Somebody's seeing you as you deserve to be seen. Somebody's seeing you be praised. Somebody seeing people uh, like people are in, like inspired by you. People are watching you, whether you have a social media account or something. You're somebody being recognized, okay, for your fame or something that you're good at, a passion that you have. And this person is stuck in an, like a toxic family situation where they're not happy, okay. They have a lot of unfulfillment. Okay, let's see what some of this is. I guess that's what karmic relationship was because that's what I felt. I felt led to keep reading that. So let's get, I'll pull another card on this karmic relationship and see what's going on with this karmic relationship. I'm already seeing that somebody has betrayed somebody and backstabbed them. Okay. What is this karmic relationship with Taurus Spirit? What is this car? Uh, Yeah, somebody is starting to see the truth about a karmic relationship that they're in, okay? Libra energy. Somebody could be in a karmic relationship with the Libra, or you could have Libra in your chart, Taurus. But this person is starting to really use their logic, okay? They're starting to see something from a different perspective. And now somebody wants to make a big change and release something because someone was dishonest with them yeah this is somebody that tried to control a situation and they didn't trust their intuition all right but i'm saying that you were protected because somebody was already involved in another karmic relationship what is enemy out here spirit yeah this person and this person knows they were deceitful Okay, they know that they may have tried to backstab you or they they tried to steal. Some of you, this person could have tried to steal from your home. Or they could have stolen something from you. Gossiped about you or tried to trick you somehow. And this is why you had to release this person. Okay, somebody could have had some sort of childhood problems. Um, but I'm seeing now that you release this person, somebody is trying to change. Now this person wants to come in and talk to you and be honest. Yeah, somebody wants to provide you with some sort of truth, okay? This could be a King of Cups, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. This person could be having a revelation about you, okay? What is this uh, Sword and Rose out here? 
Okay, Taurus energy. This person could have went towards somebody. They could be having clarity about a karmic relationship they were into. They could have went towards another Taurus. And this person could have been very insecure, very bitter, very nasty. Somebody could have even a lot about a pregnancy. And this person went towards this person. And they ended up in an unhappy uh, family situation with this person, okay? And somebody's a little bitter because now they're recognizing you for who you are and they're mad at themselves. This is somebody that could have tried to use sex magic. Yeah, but somebody wants to come back around, okay? Scorpio energy. This person wants to come back around. They feel like you're very kind. You're very good-willed. And this person is being very nostalgic about you, okay? Now that a cycle is closed, somebody is curious if you would give them another chance. Okay, you make this person feel complete. But a lot of you have your guard up against this person. Queen of Swords, you can have Aquarius in your chart. Some of you have your guards up, but you, you are protecting your energy, okay? You're protecting your mind, your peace. You're protecting your independence, I'm hearing. And you're speaking some sort of truth, okay, to this person. What is this clown in reverse? Yeah, this person could have performed like this because they were involved with the Queen of Wands, a Leo energy. And this person that they were involved with, this could have been somebody that was very demanding, very, like, Somebody that gossiped a lot and was like real bullyish, very mean spirited. And this person may have laughed at you or this queen of wands could have lied about something about how you get your money. What is this? One more for clown spirit in the page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Somebody could have helped, like, made somebody abandon a situation with you or just try to make somebody let go of something with you, okay? Yeah, somebody could have blocked you because of financial security and stability, thinking that you would have chased them, okay? What is sorry in reverse? Yeah, this person treated you, like I said, like an enemy. This person constantly made you think that they weren't your friend. Like somebody could have made you think they were your friend and then they changed. And they started operating very low uh, vibrational. Somebody ended up getting with somebody that was just toxic, okay? And I'm getting you were led to abandon a situation and focus on yourself. Focus on your money. Focus on, you know, your stability. What is this key here? Yeah, I'm hearing that a karmic could have told somebody not to apologize to you. But what is this key? Taurus, you could be getting approved for a home or there could be something coming through for you. Yeah. Okay. And I'm also seeing for some of you, this person that you met. This could have been a key person um, that was meant to come into your life to trigger some sort of spiritual awakening or some sort of soul searching that you needed to do. Okay, there was something that needed to be um, seen. Something needed to be explored from your inner world, okay? The number eight could be important. But you, from this person, this person helped you be able to step into your power, okay? This person allowed you to see how strong you really were, how brave you were. This person was meant to teach you um, a lot of different lessons, okay? This person had a major influence over your life. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing that you passed some sort of test. That's what I heard. What is this chemistry in reverse? I'm seeing the color red. You passed the test regarding your root chakra or like the color red. This could have been a test about passion and security or something. But you passed the test.
Yeah, this person is with this empress in reverse. Somebody they feel like they can't grow with. Okay, somebody feels like somebody's lazy and they don't see a future with this person. They keep comparing this person to you. Somebody could be trying to do black magic on your finances as well or... Yeah, somebody's saying you are in this nine of pentacles, okay? You're somebody that is working on themselves. You love yourself. You're building for yourself at this time. Somebody's trying to block your manifestations because somebody doesn't want them anymore. Somebody's not attracted to them. This could be a karmic. Yeah, somebody could have closed out a cycle with a karmic. Or you could have closed out a cycle with this person and... Now you're being seen as this queen of wands, somebody that is in the spotlight, somebody as a leader, an inspirer, somebody that achieves their goals, chases their goals. Yeah, you're being seen as an, like you're accomplishing some sort of goal, okay? There's something that you're doing that people are noticing. You could be a very spiritual person, Taurus. Okay, and what is this conflicted? Too many. What is this conflicted? Can I get one spirit? Too many. Can I get one? Whatever comes out, I'll just take that. Yeah, this person was conflicted because somebody was very hot and cold. Like I said, this person is drinking themselves. Like somebody's drinking a lot. Okay. This person could still have a lot of choices to choose from. But somebody has a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of pressure in their life right now. And this person is burnt out. This is somebody that took you for granted and made you feel burnt out, though. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, and you ended up giving up on the situation. You made a decision to let go of something. And I'm saying now somebody is starting to see that they've messed up. They made a mistake, okay? This person is saying that they made a decision to work on a family situation and now they're having a lot of karma. They're having a lot of bankruptcy issues, a lot of financial issues. Mm. Because they attacked the high priestess, I'm hearing. Your spirit guides and ancestors are working with, like working on this person. Yeah, as you go through a transition, you're moving on to calmer, healing waters. You're making progress. You've escaped the situation. And I'm hearing you're moving on to stability. And this page of wands, this person tried, this person was sleeping around with so many people, spreading their sexual energy with everybody. And now somebody's curious why you won't sleep with them. Because now they're seeing, they're recognizing you for who you were. This person may even want to send you a message, but they're just looking for information on how to come around to you. They're trying to think before they speak to you, okay? Somebody realizing they're ready to let go of their pride because they know that they're in an unhappy situation. Yeah, somebody has clarity. Spirit says it's the truth. Somebody has clarity. Person can't stop thinking about you either. They have a lot of fear. Libra, Aquarius, Pisces energy. What else? What's this Ace of Swords? Yeah, this is this is somebody's exhausted, okay? Somebody's exhausted. But a lot of you have learned from this already. You've went through this, and you know this person has backstabbed you. So you don't trust whoever this is, okay? You don't see this person as wish fulfillment anymore. And if that's not your energy, there could be somebody having clarity or um, getting some sort of truth. And they're learning a lesson. Somebody's learning a lesson. They're learning how to stand up for themselves. Okay, somebody could have got backstabbed or betrayed by somebody they thought was their friend. Just like they did you, this happened to this person. Yeah, somebody doesn't trust a connection that they're in, okay? This person feels very unhappy. They went towards a gold digger, a queen of pentacles in reverse. Somebody went towards a gold digger that could have been um, pretending to be independent and just 
have their own business, but somebody could have been getting money in a like they could have they could have somebody could have just been a gold digger. They could have just been pretending to be that way. So somebody would go into a new direction with them, okay? Somebody would take a, a leap of faith with them. But somebody was really money hungry and they were a gold digger. They were looking for the next best thing. All right. What is this safety and comfort in reverse for Taurus? Yeah, somebody is curious. This person could need a place to live and they're curious. Somebody wants to be fair, but they, they don't know how to come back around. Okay, this person may communicate that they want to move in with you. But this could be somebody that's manifesting something with you because they see that you are having a lot of financial blessings. Like things are moving forward for you. They can know that you're about to have some sort of financial uh, freedom. For some of you, um, you could be going back to school. Some of you could be travel agents. You could have your own business already. I'm hearing somebody might help the homeless and might give to the homeless. But yeah, you guys are definitely taking action towards what you want. And you're deciding to stop limiting yourself, okay? You may even be spending a lot of time by yourself right now while you're making a big decision, making a decision to move forward and let go of self-limiting beliefs, okay? That's for somebody. Yeah, but this person in your energy, somebody feels like you two have unfinished business. What is unfinished business? What is unfinished business, spirit? Ooh. Yeah, this person feels like you two have unfinished business. Um, but this is somebody that wanted to go back and forth with you. Um, they have a lot of baggage going on in their life right now. Somebody doesn't want you to get away. This person was very indecisive. They had a lot of inner conflict about the connection with you. And this person didn't want to learn a lesson, okay? They didn't want to learn a lesson. So this is why Spirit let this connection go, okay? This is why you... Because this King of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, this person, like I said, they're they're looking for information. They're, they're fi trying to find out if you have options at this time, okay? Because they know that you are the Ten of Pentacles in their life, okay? Somebody knows they would have had a better life if they chose you. Things would be better if they, if they went with you, okay? This is why they feel like you two have unfinished business. But somebody did refuse to heal and do the work. What is healing in reverse? Can I get a card for healing in reverse, spirit? Yeah, this person doesn't want to heal something, okay? They don't want to... This person could have been married and they're deciding they don't want to heal their marriage. Pisces energy. Somebody just feels like this is just a toxic situation, a toxic connection. And they want to release it. Yeah, they want to abandon it. Somebody's ready to move on. They're ready to start dealing with themselves. Like, you inspired somebody to look within, okay, and start healing. Yeah, this person is releasing themselves and freeing themselves from a situation. So, somebody is deciding not to heal something with a karmic, all right? So, what is this person's current feelings for... Uh, Taurus spirit. Or what's this person's next action as well? Current feelings and next action spirit. Current feelings. This person is still very passionate about you. Um, this person feels like you're very spiritual. You're very sexy. This person feels like you view them in like a heroic way, okay? This person gets excited whenever they think about you. All right. And what's next? So what's next is somebody may want to come towards you and put in the work. They want to heal something. This person is having clarity about how they feel about you. Okay. And this person wants to come in and offer you a commitment. With the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person feels like they're in love with you and they want to move towards you. They feel like it was destiny 
this was destined for you two to be in each other's life. But like I said, this is somebody that didn't want to learn a lesson and they didn't want to, um, they didn't want to heal. So now they're facing karma, okay? This is the consequences of this person procrastinating on you. Yeah, for some of you, you could even be in a new romance. Like, you could have a new relationship or a new connection coming in. Or you could be in a new connection. But a lot of you have already moved forward. You get you you have willpower, okay? You took control and you just moved on. And you overcame something, okay? And now you're headed towards some sort of success. Cancer energy. Some of you could have cancer in your chart. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing, Taurus. All right, so let's see what else is new. Okay, the Emperor, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Ooh, somebody. Somebody is thinking about. So somebody's stuck in a choice. Somebody knows they need to make a choice. And this person is thinking hard, okay? This person is thinking if they should stay. Like they know, they know they have a lot of addictions, a lot of codependencies. But this person knows they would have a solid foundation with you, and somebody wants to come in and propose. Okay, this person is in love with you, with the Queen of Cups. Somebody's in love with you. You make somebody feel powerful, like this person can lead, like somebody's a leader. Yeah, somebody wants to protect you and provide for you. Okay, with this Emperor energy out here. This person is ready with the lovers. Oh my God, this person thinks you're their soulmate. They feel like your connection was destined. Ooh, Taurus. Who, and who do you have going through this breakthrough? Somebody's going through a big breakthrough. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else for Taurus Spirit? What other message for Taurus? What other messages do they need to know for this upcoming week, for this time period in their life? Ooh, the devil. Capricorn energy. What is this, the devil, out here? So somebody may have took a risk, a naive risk, and, and they jumped into something too fast and ended up attached to somebody. For some of you, Taurus, I keep hearing, like, for some reason, I keep hearing sexually transmitted disease, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be the case for everybody. So please do not leave comments until you hear me say this is not for everybody. But it looks like somebody rushed into something very quickly. And this person has a lot of attachments, codependencies, and addictions. Somebody's exhausted with all the things they have going on in their life. And now this king of swords... Is seeing the truth and they're ready to be logical and make some sort of decision but I'm also saying with the king of swords here you could be being protected at this time from someone's karma because somebody is facing serious karma okay somebody is getting some sort of bad news at this time yeah somebody is releasing a situation and they're finally learning a lesson okay this person is learning the lesson because now they want to make a choice because they, they feel like you're their soulmate. Somebody wants to work on something with you. But this person is in the nine of cups in reverse. Somebody's very unfulfilled, okay, without you. And now they want to tell you they love you. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to open up. With the king of pentacles in reverse, this could have been another Taurus, another uh, Capricorn or Virgo. Somebody was very materialistic and concerned about money. And this could have been a couple. Yeah, this was a couple, okay? A gold digger couple. And this is why they're both upside down. They're both negative. They're both karmics. And somebody had to heal from a connection that they could have been under. Like somebody disconnected from you so that you could heal but this person was under some sort of black magic or some illusion because of their insecurities somebody needed to release some of these insecurities they had what else for sorry spirit 
Yeah, it came out again. This person is still in a karmic relationship. Okay? They may be releasing this person, but... Let's see. What is this? Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody's realizing they're in love with you, but they're they're stuck somewhere else. They're unhappy somewhere else in another connection. This person knows they need to move forward. They have clarity. But they just have so much going on with this Queen of Swords, okay? So much karma at this time that it's making it hard for this person to do anything. Mm. Yeah, somebody, look at this, commitment in reverse. Somebody is leaving another commitment. Somebody they could have had a family with, could have lived with. A living situation, I'm hearing. What else for Tara Spirit? What else? Yeah, this person definitely indulged or somebody could have been bribed or tempted to let go of something. Somebody could have been persuaded. And you could have came to this person's, like, you could have helped this person out and been charitable to this person and kind. And somebody was very stubborn. Somebody was very stubborn. And now this person wants to apologize for wearing a mask with you or deceiving you because this person had a family. And now somebody's praying, okay? They're praying. What else? Yeah, because they're having nightmares. Somebody's having a lot of nightmares. They're being persecuted, okay? And I'm getting this person's going to be persecuted until they apologize to you. Somebody may have been given some sort of gift that... Yeah, somebody was given a gift, but they ended up under some sort of black magic, okay? Some sort of illusion. Because somebody was giving them something. And now somebody's praying, okay? Somebody's praying because they didn't see your worth. Somebody did not see your worth. Mm. Yeah, this person wasn't grateful. They didn't they didn't show great gratitude for you, okay? What else? Oh, they came out. Hey, somebody didn't trust your intuition. But you were patient, so this is why you overcame your obstacles, okay? Yeah, you took the first step. Some of you cleared your energy from this person that wasn't grateful for you. This person, okay, Spirit is saying to clear your energy if you haven't, because somebody is facing karma. Spirit wants you to keep your boundaries up because somebody is not accepting something is over. Somebody doesn't want to accept that you finally changed and now you're on the right path. Okay? You're in your power and you have this success coming your way. This person doesn't want to accept that because they're having a lot of turmoil. Okay? But you had turmoil that you had to get through. Let's see. And people were playing in your face when you, people were playing while you were going through some of your hard moments. And you had to persevere. What else for Tara Spirit? All right. I'm seeing confidence out here. Ooh, look at this. So somebody might, there could be a cancer coming forward with 69 out here trying to take accountability. Okay, somebody wants to reshape something with you and reform it. This person is gaining uh, confidence and they're feeling optimistic that they can have a chance. Okay, but a lot of you could be releasing this energy. Or if this is not this person, you could even be feeling more uh, confident, more positive. Um, you're changing your focus and you're starting to take accountability for your life. Yeah, you have, a re there's a release going on. 999. I'm seeing things are about to be balanced with your finances. There's going to be a lot of success with your wealth, okay? Cycles are being closed. And Spirit wants you to know that what goes around comes around. It says your current circumstances are ending, so you might take advantage of better ones. If you are experiencing a significant change or conclusion, 
Viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful. How can you make room for something new to emerge? So you guys need to release a chapter in your life and make room for something new to come in. Because it says at the bottom of the deck that you got these great, I don't know if you can see it, let's see. You got these great blessings coming into your life, okay? Because you have self-love, you have these boundaries, you're respecting your needs, okay? You're keeping your vibes good. You guys have that inner wisdom, you understand, you understand, you overstand, <laughs> and you're letting go, okay? You're releasing. Spirit is asking you to nurture yourself at this time, okay? Your needs, desires, and your boundaries. You're being asked to let go of things that are weighing you down and make space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas in your life. So make sure that you are expanding like yourself to love, to job opportunities, or just different type of experiences in your life, okay? Because you do have that coming in to your life. So that's what I'm seeing. Okay, let's get a message from our ancestors and see what they want you to know. Look at this. Spirit is asking you to take charge because you have good juju. I'm seeing the number 39 and 22 could be important. You could be 39 or 22. There's a breakthrough coming in. Some sort of um, download. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? Ooh. The goddess circle. Okay. So you got three. Okay, you got three. So I'm going to go ahead and read these for you. I'm going to read from the book with this because I do like this deck. So the first card out, we have, I'm going to start with the bottom of the deck. We have the Mother God, which is Miracles in Motion. Okay, so yeah, you have a lot of miracles developing your life. There's a lot of things coming your way that you're working hard towards. Um... I'm also saying that you are the architect of your own existence. And when you tap into the wisdom of the great mother that you have within you, heaven and the earth are connected through you. But still you doubt yourself. Believing you now, bringing miracles is easy for you. Okay, you are the grand alchemist. So Spirit wants you to trust your inner voice because you are being divinely guided and are much wiser than you think. Be easy and deliberate as you move forward. But do move forward. So Spirit is asking you to just move forward, but just take your time, okay? Somebody could be 42, 27, or 23. 37, 33, 32, okay? Or 30. So we also have out here, there is a season for everything, and this is yours. So if you haven't already received the good news, it is coming your way. It is safe to celebrate. You do deserve it, okay? Spirit doesn't want you to question the joy that's coming into your life. Do not wait for the other shoe to drop. Rejoice, beautiful. You are the moment. This is your time. Positive change is on the way, okay? We have expansion, evolution, revolution, and be open to change. This is a great season to let go of the past and to take a big risk. All right, so it looks like you are definitely in a season where you're going to be opening yourself up to change and taking more risks. We have love overflowing. You're going to have a lot of love coming in this season of your life. It says divine love, romantic love, communal love. Every kind of love is pouring through you. This is the beginning of something beautiful in your life. Make way for the joy of new love. It keeps saying make room for joy, okay? So you guys have a lot of joy coming in your life. And it could be new love. This new relationship can be a friendship or a new suitor. It could even be a career partnership that you love. Or even a renewed love for an already existing person or situation in your life. Either way, you are worthy and deserving of this magnificent new uh, blessing. So it says, the water ancestors represent emotions Allow the seeds of joy to blossom in your life with the energy of boundless love that can, I'm sorry, with the energy of boundless love, what can give back to your community? So some of you may, um, like I said, I think I just mentioned that some of you might give to the homeless. Some of you could be 
um, very loving and caring to people in your uh, community. But yeah, I'm saying you have new love or a chance to fix something in your past that there's something coming in with the heart chakra. So Spirit is giving you that opportunity as well as other opportunities, other miracles. A lot of things coming for you, okay? It says, yes, you can make it all happen. It is safe for you to feel beyond your usual limits. Embrace your personal freedom and follow your passion. Be curious. If you are an advocate for social issues or an activist, let your voice be heard. You can make a difference. All root and plant spirits are messengers, okay? The root of fire, also called the African dream root, is an indication to move ahead. This plant ancestor wants you to explore your passions with enthusiasm. So you guys are being asked to go after what you want, move forward, go after what you're passionate about. Okay, you could have some talents that you're really good at. Go for it. Spirit, I'm seeing somebody could be good at makeup. Somebody could be a tattoo artist. Somebody could just be into astrology or just have sacred knowledge. Somebody's very spiritual. And Spirit is telling you to go for it, okay? Whatever it is that you want to go for. I'm hearing teacher. Somebody could be a teacher too. But whatever it is that you want to go for, Spirit wants you to go for it, okay? If you're an herbalist, if it, whatever you are, um, follow your desires, follow your passions. Because there is a lot of blessings coming into your life at this time, okay? So Spirit wants you to make sure you release some cycles so you can experience all the greatness that's coming your way. All right? So, Taurus, that has been your message, and I have really enjoyed speaking with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here and remember to keep your vibes high at this time, especially during this Mercury retrograde. Um, and just know that um, I do appreciate all of you who do subscribe to my channel. And if you don't subscribe, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we would love to have you as a part of the family, okay? Um, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes. If you want to leave me a comment below, I would love to talk to you guys. And I will talk to you later, Taurus. Bye.